this as IBM Museum just in an attempt to see if I can get this SCSI hard drive functional at some level. I'm going to go through and install MS-DOS 6.21 on there. And this is this 65SX with this SCSI hard drive that I've just struggled going through. OS2 is installs fine. It goes through the 5th and 6th diskette. Goes back to the installation diskette to, to prep the drive for booting. And then just fails at that point. So I'm going through. And let's get the system powered on. I already have the first diskette of the MS-DOS 6.21 in the drive. And it should start that setup process. And it just totally off the cuff video I want to find out if this drive is is bootable in any form whether it's OS2 that's failing or whether it's something that's just something deeper that's that's causing this issue everything on how the system is configured with and we've run through that reference diskette with the the triple adapter there's not anything else with it at SCSI ID 6 and we've confirmed that there's nothing to prevent that or no extra saying to make this drive bootable there's not a jumper setting there's not anything else I'm just thinking that boot sector maybe is is failing now I, on the previous video, I went and formatted it under OS2. Here with the MS-DOS, and we may get stuck in that. In fact, I may want to have, yeah, because the setup process is going to, thinking ahead a little bit, as we go through this long memory count, at least it gave me time, that the, the MS-DOS 6.21, as we ran through it before, is going to tell me that that setup process, that it doesn't expect any OS to be installed. And even this might be a, enough of a helpful video in its own because... I'm going to boot from that diskette and then I'm going to put the first diskette in to try an F disk. And so MS DOS doesn't even won't even think that there's an operating system on this on the system at all. And it'll go through and complete that setup process without me having to uh, I can only stumble so many times, right? Okay. So and even whether FDisk is going to run at all is going to be informative. So we'll do FDisk. And we just, in the FDisk process, we just want to go through and delete the, the partition. We're not going to go through and... <sighs> And I suppose I could go through and set ver <clears throat> or something else, some other Okay. Let me see if I've got my I should still have the six point to two disk. Yeah, so we want to run the setup process from that because we know that that works. We can't boot from that diskette of 6.22, but it should have the F disk.
Okay. <laughs> Phase to have a whole bunch of different disks around. Okay. So we can display the partition information. And that's funny that it still says that other partition is HP, HPFS. I formatted it under DAW. So once we get once we get DOS on here, if that goes successful, we might even try this drive again because it doesn't look like it's going through and and so first we will have to delete a non-DOS the non-DOS partition. Okay. And let's actually try for the second partition first. Okay. And let's display the partition information again. So we have that non-DOS partition there and we want to delete that one as well. And so number four, and that time the first one, and yes, we want to continue. Okay, escape. So display partition information. There's no partitions defined. And now we are good for we might even be good for <laughs> continuing the uh, OS2 installation, but I don't want to go through that tonight. If this, if I can get DOS booting up, I will try my OS2 installation on this same SCSI drive tomorrow. And it's just a warm boot here, so we don't have to endure that long memory count again. And with only three diskettes, the installation of MS-DOS should go quickly enough. I'm just wanting to see something from the SCSI drive just to know it's not a, a loss. Okay, set up MS-DOS now, press enter. Configure unallocated disk space. Okay. And I also could have gone through and continued to to boot from the MS-DOS 6.21 diskette that I have in Thundrive now, exit, exit out of the setup utility, and F this the drive from that. I, I believe it would have let me exit back out to DOS and then use that F disk utility without having to stumble in and, and bring another the 6.22 DOS diskette to to delete all the partitions. Okay, and this might be waiting, eh, waiting for paint to dry, but I can pause the video certainly. Okay, the formatting is complete. I'm gonna say the sayings are correct. And that's a good place for the DOS files.
King. We're just over 10 minutes, and this might be still a good place to to pause. I mean, all I'm doing this is an exercise to see if I can get a an OS on the on the SCSI drive that I can boot from. So the copying files is extraneous to that process. Okay, it got to the end of the process. I'm ejecting the diskette 3 and pressing enter and pressing enter again. Moment of truth. I think the running through the FDIS process, and that maybe should have been something I, I tried prior to or after the first time that OS 2 failed on me to install. Just realized I wouldn't ever recover any of the files. Uh, no. So this throws us into ROM basics. So there is, there's just something with the boot sector of this, of this drive. It is, and it is time to pull out another SCSI drive for my OS2 installation. The only thing I'm thinking of here is I'm going to try and boot to my floppy again. And of course, I'd have to go through more, or there'd be other ways to go through some iterations to, yeah, invalid. So, and I think if we, even if we went through the steps of looking if F, if FDIS would see the the hard drive. And probably even mark it as an active partition and bootable and everything else. But there's just something up with this SCSI hard drive. So that means this is a wrap. It just is <laughs> not getting anywhere with this with this drive. So if you like this oddball off the off the wall content. Click on that like button, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. <laughs> but this is IBM Museum. That's all I have. Thank you.